Okay, this is uh, part 2 of 13.4. This question is a bit long, so this video is only, only about uh, this example itself. So, I will start, okay, on this question itself. So, now, uh, I've written on some things for you. So, uh, air is pumped into, so into means that the volume is increasing at the rate of 0.12 cm cube per second. So, I have a dV dt. Now, what they want us to find is the rate of change of the surface area, so rate of change of area with respect to time, when the radius is 0 0.4 meters. Okay, so basically what we hope, okay, or what we want to end up with is the rate of change of area with respect to time. Okay, how I can find that is that I can differentiate A with respect to R multiplied to the change in R with respect to T. Once again, the bad mathematics is how I form this is that I know that I can, okay, in my brain, I can eliminate the R that okay, these are rates of change. Um, then I'll get a rate of change of A with respect to time. But there's a small problem. What is a small problem? The small problem is this question gives you rate of change of volume with respect to time. But what I need here is rate of change of radius with respect to time. Oh, oh. So how do I find this uh, rate of change of radius with respect to time? So I need to go one further step. And the further step is this. Since I'm given rate of change of volume with respect to time, I can say this. It is equal to, by the chain rule, you differentiate volume with respect to radius multiplied to the rate of change of radius with respect to time. So you notice that I cannot solve my question immediately because I need this um, dr dt. So one extra step is to form another connected rate of change to find my dr dt. So what I can do first, I put in dv dt 0.12. I got that from the question itself. dv dr. How do I do dv dr? Volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So dv dr okay, is equals to 4 pi r square. So here I can write it out as 4 pi r square times dr dt. Then, if I just simplify this, I find that my rate of change with radius with respect to time is 0 0.12 over 4 pi r square. If you want to simplify, actually, let's just leave it. Okay, don't go and divide by 4. Okay, we just leave it alone. I have my uh, expression for rate of change of radius with respect to time. So, now I can go back to my original intent, which is to solve this which I have highlighted, I can say this. Rate of change of area with respect to time is you differentiate A with respect to R then to the product or with a rate of change of radius with respect to time, the R dt. Okay, now, so what I know is the A dr. How do I get that? Um, the area of a spherical balloon is 4 pi r squared. Again, you have to memorize this. So, dA dr is differentiate. You bring down is 8 pi r. So, what I have here is 8 pi r multiplied to dr dt. dr dt we found above is 0 0.12 over 4 pi r squared. If I simplify everything, what I get is um, 0 0.24 divided by r. Now, I am almost done with my question already. So, 0 0.24 over r. Let's just take note of that. That is the ADT. Why don't I just copy this whole thing over? Okay, down here. And the question is asking when the radius is 0 0.4 meters. Hence, when my radius is 0 0.4 meters, I divide by 0 0.4, the rate of change of area with respect to time is 0 0.6 meters square per second. So that means that the area is increasing at a rate of 0 0.6 meter square per second when the radius of the balloon is 0 0.4 meters. And that's it.